Hey everyone, what's going on? Yesterday we got the story about SpaceX launching the Falcon Heavy rocket. And what I'm going to show you in this video is how this whole story and this whole launch is all scripted by what is called gematria, the practice of coding numbers into words and phrases. It stems back to Jewish mysticism, which is Kabbalah, but it is the practice of coding numbers into words and phrases. And our mainstream media every single day is coded with this system. Our sports leagues are synced up with the mainstream media. It's also scripted with this system. You know, our told history is all scripted by the system. So if you're new here, please go to the video description and check out the links called How to Gematria. There, it's a 15 minute video and like a four minute video and you'll get a better understanding of what I'm talking about and you'll learn to apply it for yourself. But literally, if you can count to 26, because there's 26 letters, and you can do a little bit of addition, it's cake. It's the easiest thing in the world. Anyway, if you haven't checked out this article, basically SpaceX launched this Falcon Heavy rocket into space. And Elon Musk, the guy who runs this company or whatever, he also launched his Tesla Roadster into space with this rocket. And there was a David Bowie tribute because they're having the song Space Oddity play on an endless loop and also a mannequin that they nicknamed Starman. And the reason that it's so significant is because if you look up this family of rockets, this is, all, this is the 49th launch of this Falcon rockets, right? The 49th launch. And in Gematria, Falcon Heavy equals 49. Space Oddity equals 49. David Bowie equals 49. His real name's even David Jones, that equals 49. Tesla Roadster equals 49. And also, remember David Bowie died at the age of 69 of cancer, and the astrological symbol for cancer, it looks a lot like a 69. I'll pull it up really quick. It's this right here. This is the astrological symbol for cancer, right? It looks a lot like a 69. And if you noticed, in Gematria, Elon Musk's, Musk's real name is Elon Reeve Musk that even equals 69. And the reason that it's so significant is because the moon landing happened in 1969 during the sign of cancer. And if you look up David Bowie's song, Space Oddity, it even talks about how it was released just five days before the moon landing, right, in 1969, just five days before Apollo 11, you know? And if you write out 69 in Gematria, it equals 49, just like think about all these other 49s, right? Also, even in Gematria, the mannequin nicknamed Starman, Starman also equals 49 in Gematria. And David Bowie, he died on January 10th, 2016, which was two years, 27 days before this launch. That was a tribute to him. Well, 227, that's the 49th prime number. Talk about one of the most scripted stories of all time, and most blatantly obvious if you look it up. I have a video somewhere a while back about the 32nd launch of Falcon X as well, because I was talking about how it was synced up to the Falcons being in the Super Bowl last year. They even launched it on the day that we got the bridge fire just after the Super Bowl. We had the Falcons lose to the Patriots. This year... This launch comes just after the Eagles beat the Patriots. And think about the moon landing, the original moon landing in the year 69. The lunar module was even called the Eagle, right? You know, Houston, the Eagle has landed. And this story comes just after the Eagles win the Super Bowl. And if you go back and, and look and you remember, just after David Bowie died, eight days later, actually, we got the death of Glenn Fry, who was one of the members of the band The Eagles, right? And in Gematria, Eagles equal 49. Also this year, on July 20th, it will be the 49th anniversary of the moon landing. 
But if you remember, when Glenn Fry died, he died age 67, and it was 67 days after the Paris attacks with the Eagles of Death Metal, if you remember. He died 67 days after that, age 67. And then one month, or it was 49 days, which I believe is also one month and 18 days later, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania equals 118, a lot like one month, 18 days. But 49 days after Glenn Fry died, we got the death of Randy Meisner, another member of the band The Eagles. His wife died, and her name was Lena Meisner, Meisner or however you pronounce it. But look at Glenn Lewis Fry equals 69. Lena Meisner equals 69. 69 equals 49. These two numbers have a big connection, interrelated. Philadelphia is all about the book of Revelation as well. In the book of Revelation, they mention Philadelphia in regards to the church and also the key of David. And Revelation and Gematria equals 49. Eagles equal 49. The eagle has landed. It's also interesting that the Super Bowl was just held in Minneapolis and they did the Prince tribute at halftime and whatever else. You know, they did the I would die for you song, right? The letter U, the 21st letter for you. Prince died on April 21st, 421. It was Queen Elizabeth's birthday as well, which is interesting because this missile or this rocket launch comes on February 6th, which is the anniversary of Queen Elizabeth being the queen and whatnot. And a ton of other things, you know, they, they, had Niagara Falls be purple that same day, right? Think about Prince and purple. And then they said that it was for, for Queen Elizabeth. And 67 days before, one of Prince's old girlfriends, Vanity, died. And she was from Niagara Falls and a ton of other stuff, you know. Prince, Prince even went to the Golden State Warriors game 49 days before he died. And Warriors equal 49 and his death was super synced up to the Cleveland Cavaliers winning the NBA Finals that year. But anyway, I was talking about this big space theme last year, and it was all connected to the moon and whatever else. And then just after talking about that, we got the death of John Glenn. And then a month later, we got the death of Eugene Cernan, who was the first guy to walk on the moon. And I even talked about him at the end of November because of Neil Armstrong and the moon theme that I was following. And if you recall, Prince died at the age of 57 on the night of a full moon, and moon in Gematria equals 57. And in 2016, that was the year we got the closest supermoon since the year 48. That's part of the reason why we had the Indians in the World Series, because they hadn't won a World Series since the year 48. And... Donald Trump won the election. Donald Trump equals 48. Wall equals 48. I talked about a whole bunch of stuff. You know, even the Simpsons episode that talks about President Trump being the president before Lisa Simpson is going to be the president. That was on an episode about the Native American stuff and whatever else. Bart learns that at the Native American casino. This was just after the Indians were in the World Series all season. All summer, I was talking about a Native American theme and how it was synced up to Prince. Prince even shared a birthday with Mike Pence, who's from Indiana, the land of the Indians, and whatever else. Then we got the Dakota Access Pipeline stories getting huge right when the World Series started. Whatever else, you know. That's how it works, you know. They sync all of these mainstream media articles up to the sports. But moral of the story, I'm, I'm just telling you that there was all of the stuff that I was talking about in regards to Moon and whatever else, you know, and I pointed out Eugene Cernan equal 82, or he died age 82, and he's the last guy to walk on the moon. He's the 11th person to step foot on the moon, but he's the last guy to get off of the moon. And Neil Armstrong was the first guy to walk on the moon. He also died at the age of 82. Even if you write it out in Gematria, first moonwalker equals 82, last moonwalker equals 82. And in regards to Prince, the 82nd prime is 421, like the day that Prince died. And John Glenn ended up dying on December 8th in 2016, four months and 21 days after his birthday. If you write out April 21st, it equals 82. 
see how it's interrelated. But the reason that I'm bringing this up is because just before John Glenn died, just a few days before that, we got a story of Buzz Aldrin and how he was injured in like Antarctica and then he was in a hospital in New Zealand. And on that closest supermoon day, we got a earthquake in New Zealand on Prince Charles's birthday. Stuff that I had talked about all year. I talked about how earthquakes were synced up to that day and synced up to the moon. If you just go back and watch my videos, I'm telling you, I talked about all of this stuff. But, you know, this this Super Bowl, there's some, there was something super connected to earthquakes and whatever else. We even got that 6.4 Taiwan earthquake on the same day that this, this rocket launched. And in 2000, what was it, 2016, I think, two years ago, we got a 6.4 earthquake on that exact same day, February 6th, in Taiwan. And I just talked about how it was synced up to Queen Elizabeth. But moral of the story, Buzz Aldrin, I don't think I took a screenshot of him, Buzz Aldrin, you know, he was on Apollo 11, and he walked on the moon with Neil Armstrong, right? So, just interesting for one. His name's even Edwin, I thought was interesting, because we just got that Colts player who died. Edwin Jackson, and that was synced up to the death of Prince as well. And eventually, maybe I'll make a video on that. But I noticed this guy, Buzz Aldrin, is age 88 right now, and the Super Bowl was all about the number 88. You know, U.S. Bank Stadium equals 88, Neil equals 88, Trump equals 88, Colin Kaepernick 88, Star Spangled Banner 88. I talked about how it was synced up to the 88th anniversary of the stock market crash and Herbert Hoover, HH, H is the eighth letter, 88. And then what? What did we get? The day after the Super Bowl, we got the big stock market thing, the market meltdown, which I'm going to make a separate video on that. But, you know, all of the stuff that I'm talking about, it's, you know, it comes up just after talking about it. It's all synced up to what I'm talking about. So, possibly Buzz Aldrin's going to die this year or something like that. He's ripe, you know, age 88. Everyone will just say, oh, he died from old age or this or that. But it's synced up to the Super Bowl and the stock market and whatever else. But his name, even, Buzz Aldrin equals 52 in Super Bowl 52, right? Minnesota equals 52. That's why they hosted Super Bowl 52. We also got the death of this other astronaut who walked on the moon, John Young, on January 5th, which is interesting, you know, because he was on Apollo 16, and Apollo 16 landed on the moon on 421, you know, synced up to Prince. And he died 32 days ago, 32 days before this launch, 32 equals 49 in Gematria. The story also comes 165 days before the 49th anniversary of the moon landing. And Elon Reeve Musk, the big way, equals 165, just like Neil Armstrong, the first guy to walk on the moon. Scottish Wright equals 165. All of this stems back to Freemasonry. You know, most of the astronauts, Freemasons, always coded by the numbers. I also pointed out that the moon landing, the anniversary of it, July 20th, was 201 days before they launched this rocket. And Apollo in Jewish Gematria equals 201. Apollo was the moon landing ones, right? Neil Alden Armstrong equals 201 in Gematria. And Buzz Aldrin, born on January 20th, which in most parts of the world, they even write the date 20 slash 1. A lot like 201. And the 201st day was the day they landed on the moon, 201 days after the anniversary. So we'll leave it at that. If you don't understand by all the 49s that I showed you, you're not applying this for yourself. Just apply this for yourself. It's in every media story, every single day. These things always synced up by the numbers, synced up to the scripted sports leagues. We'll see what happens when we get the 52nd launch. I bet that will be an interesting one. But uh, 
Have a good one. Peace.